Dear Investor, Edelweiss Private Wealth Management is pleased to present you the latest issue of Investment Strategy Report for February 2019. Let's take a look at key highlights of January 2019. Economic activities across major economies such as Germany, France, USA and China is starting to slow down. China's GDP growth continued to slow down in quarter 4 of calendar year 2018 with 6.4% growth. GDP growth for 2018 fell to 6.6%. The trade war and muted domestic demand are weakening the Chinese economy. US markets have started to recover from the rout in December 2018 and the early days of January 2019. Over half of the losses from 2018 highs have been recovered. India's trade deficit eased to a 10-month low of 13.1 billion US dollars in December 2018, dragged down by fall in crude oil prices. We expect financial year 19 trade deficit to be around 183 billion US dollars. Fiscal deficit for financial year 18 to financial year 19 is expected to be at 3.4% of GDP. Budgetary estimates for financial year 20 is at 3.4%. As per our estimates, financial year 19 EPS is at 507, thereby implying a 14% growth over financial year 18 EPS of 445. Bloomberg Nifty blended forward 12 months, consensus PE stands at 17.95x currently. Current levels are neither expensive nor cheap, prompting our neutral stance. The correction in Indian equity markets in 2018 has been largely restricted to mid and small cap universe. While Nifty has gained 5% since close of financial year 18, Nifty mid cap 100 index has fallen by 11% and Nifty small cap 100 index has fallen by 22% during the same period. Our view about equities as an asset class continues to be neutral. We advise investors to focus on specific bottom-up opportunities as the broader market is likely to stay under pressure. Pursuant to the provisions made in the interim budget, rural economy and consumption are expected to emerge as attractive opportunities through 2019. Considering high valuations in this sector, we prefer to wait for now. India government 10-year bond yields have declined approximately 10 basis points in the month of January and currently trade at around 7.29%. RBI continues to infuse durable liquidity in the system through record OMO purchases, which are expected to touch 3 trillion INR in financial year 19. With government leaning towards populism in the coming year, a substantial portion of expenditure and borrowings is being done by state governments and through IEBR. Such borrowing sources, although not visible in fiscal deficit, would certainly impact borrowing costs. CPI inflation for December 18 stood 2.2% year-on-year. With such low inflation, the bond yields are still being held up by the large quantum of government market borrowings. The RBI has decided to cut rates and change its policy stance to neutral. Credit concerns are emerging in the case of DHFL and Z, adding to the uncertainty created by IL and FS default in September 2018. Credit risk mutual funds and select medium duration funds carry dual risk of credit exposure as well as liquidity risk, which may arise in case of large investor redemptions. We recommend investors to focus on hold to maturity solutions to take advantage of wide corporate bond spreads. Corporate bonds and state development loans are trading at attractive spreads over 3 to 5 year segment. Hence, it will be advisable to deploy capital into roll down strategy and AAA rated FMPS to lock in currently available yields. <laughs>